Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to organize Ethnos, the game by Paolo Mori from Spaghetti Western and Simon. So without further ado, let's take a look inside. So first off, we lift off the lid here. We've got our rule book. We've got our game board. And underneath, you'll see right off the bat that we've made some modifications to the insert inside. So the insert is mostly intact, but the big modification comes from this upper section here. So we have the merfolk board here. That's going to be if you decide to use the merfolk. In this game, you use components based on the uh, compilation of the types of minions you're going to be using. But we've got our merfolk board over here on top of a cutout space. So I went ahead and lobbed a huge section of this insert out, but I kept the recess session here. That way we can keep the board nice and snug on top. But in this small section, we've got little containers that are going to contain the player pieces. So these tiny ramekins, you can get them 10 for a dollar. You simply place the lid on top here, you put it on the table, you're ready to go. And this is nice because all these components are the same, and you're going to be picking one at a time. So these fit really nicely. There are exactly six of them for all the different players, and they are going to fit really nicely into this empty space in here without ruining the rest of the insert that it comes with. Because ultimately, this insert for this game is pretty good. But this is a very solid way to store the player components, and it's easy to just give them to a player so they have a bank that they can pull from. So super nice. That's all of the containers for the different players. Up next, we have the wells for the different cards. Got a silica gel packet on here, just in case. In this central well, you're going to have all of the dragon cards placed on top. And then you'll have the explanation for the promos if you're playing with the fairies. And then you have all of the different race cards. That way you can randomly pick what race you're gonna be using that game. So you can have all of that organized. Now these are also fully sleeved. They do fit sleeved into this box. And then in this next section, you'll see that we have just the races based on, well, go figure the races. So you'll have all of those just organized in these other wells. So there's no other really crazy organization system here. You've just got them all based on their race. So you'll just pull them out as needed. You can organize these alphabetically, but really you're just going to take out the ones that you need based on the game that you decide to play. So I do like having them organized alphabetically because then you can quickly find the one that you need based on the one that you pull randomly, or you can always custom tailor pick the races that you want to play with. On this bottom part here, we have the rest of the boards for specific races. We have our orc boards, so if you decide to play with them, your own little private player board. We've also got the giant token if you're playing with them. We've got all of the orc tokens. I think these are orcs. I know these are trolls, all the troll tokens. And lastly, we have the different scoring tokens based on the player count. So you can organize these in this small section here based on the number of players. So I find that really nice. You can put the ones for higher player counts on the top and the ones you'll be using every game on the bottom here. So very straightforward, really solid insert, but just make that one modification here by cutting out that section so you can fit in these small containers. Remember, 10 for a dollar, dollar tree, that's the way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put it all back. So first off, we've got to put all the cards back in, silica gel packet, your scoring tokens, then you'll put in these troll tokens, the giant token, your orc boards, the different player components, and they're going to go tuck inside here. And it's nice to have that extra space so it is easy to take out. We don't want anything to be too snug, otherwise it'll be super annoying when you're actually trying to play. And then on top of that, we're going to put our merfolk board, our game board, our rule book, and the box lid. And that is organizing Ethnos, the board game. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. Is there a game that you'd like to see organized? How do you organize your copy of Ethnos? What do you think of the game in general? Thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.